This video shows how to make a Faber-Castell Polychromos realistic rose drawing with colored pencil in real time. Since it shows the process of drawing real time, you can see every step of the process of drawing a rose in Faber-Castell Polychromos and the technique I often use for my colored pencil drawings. In the top left corner of this real-time colored pencil drawing video, you will find the pencils I'm using so you can follow the process step by step and draw along. If you draw along with rows in colored pencils, post your drawing on Instagram and tag me. This video on how to draw roses with polychromos does not show the sketching process, only the coloring. If you want to know more about sketching, check out my sketching playlist. To make this drawing of a colored pencil rose, I used Koinor sketchbook paper and only five Faber Castell Polychromos colored pencils 103, 184, 191, 167, and 175. The first and the last I used for brightening and darkening this drawing of a realistic rose, and the other three were my main colors or midtones. I got the full range of values for this Faber Castell rose drawing by blending the main colors with the colors for highlights and shadows. It's a simple but effective coloring technique that works for drawing a Faber-Castell Polychromos realistic rose as well as for drawing any other subject with any other colored pencils. If you'd like to know more about this technique, you can find the color pencil drawing tutorial on how to draw a rose with Polychromos in the description, where you can also find the full list of materials used in this real-time color pencil tutorial and the reference image for this color pencil drawing of a rose in Polychromos. For this drawing of a polychromous rose, I am, as always, working from left to right and from top to bottom to avoid smudging. You can have some success erasing colored pencil, especially Faber-Castell polychromos, but it's always best to avoid getting in the position where you have to do it. In addition to working from left to right and from top to bottom, I'm focusing on one specific section of the drawing at a time. I'm starting with a smaller bud and then I'll move on to the bigger one. I'm working on the smaller bud as a whole, but I will work on the bigger one section by section, starting with the top left part, then the bottom right part, then the red peeking through, and finally the stem. Once I finish working on the buds, I will work on the flower, one petal at a time. Working in sections helps me get values right and avoid smudging at the same time.
There's a part of the drawing process that's missing from this video because my camera got out of focus without me realizing. I uploaded the missing unfocused part separately if you'd like to watch it. The link will be in the description.
you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Check out my real-time drawing videos playlist to watch my other real-time drawing videos. I also have playlists for flower drawing videos and for colored pencil drawing videos.